Next, I'm going to spend a little bit more time talking about the makeup card and the solenoid that it powers. So we get calls back, well, the solenoid is not operating. What's wrong with the panel? So what I did, I, I still have my jumpers in here. And I went ahead and wired up a 120 volt solenoid to my red thermal blocks 2A and 4A. And here's the solenoid right here. So right now my panel's off. My selector switch is in the off position. I'm going to go ahead and, and apply power to the panel. Now that power is applied to the panel, I also make sure my circuit breaker is applying power for the uh, makeup solenoid. So Mickey solenoid is wired in there. Got my jumpers in my hand right here. Uh, here's the inlet and outlet on the solenoid. This would be someplace in a building, or it might be at the tower, but a lot of times they're in the building. And it's in a piping circuit right here. So how do you know your solenoid is working? Uh, if this is in the building and your panel's outside, you're going to have to have a walkie-talkie system or cell phone or something and call somebody inside. Um, you can actually hear this click when it turns on and off. Inside the building, it might be too noisy. You might be able to put your hands here on this uh, brass housing. And once it's energized and de-energized, you, you can actually feel the solenoid um, popping in and out. So we got power to everything. Uh, my switch is in the off position. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw this to hand. And when I throw this to hand, we bypass the circuit card that's in here and we directly apply 120 volt power right to the solenoid using this switch. So when I put this in hand, it should come on. So you should hear this. Okay, I'm definitely on. Off. On and off. So what that proves to me, that proves to me that the power flow from our panel out to the solenoid is good and the solenoid seems to be functioning properly. Let's go ahead and throw this in auto. The solenoid has now energized and we're making up water in the tower. The reason we're making up water, like we said before, because my probes here are dry. So the probe rises above number 14. It still rises and as soon as it hits 15, that card is going to de-energize the solenoid. We just turned it off. Water starts to fall. Falls past 15, falls past 14. As soon as I pull this out, it's going to require makeup. We're now making up water. So that's a pretty good proof that this system is working. Now, if we still don't have water flowing, we have to take a look at the solenoid. Sometimes during startup, you get contaminants inside the pipe, such as sand and grit. It can actually clog up the solenoid housing itself and prevent it from operating. The second reason why a solenoid doesn't work, you have to have a certain amount of water pressure within the piping system because the water pressure acts as an assist to open and close the valve along with electrical energy.